Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Risa's Moment in History, and I'm standing along the Pine River in St. Clair, where in 1825, Sam and Langell helped put St. Clair on the map on this location by designing and building his first ship, the Grand Turk. Simon Langell was born in British-ruled Nova Scotia and was brought by his father to Buffalo, New York when he was only nine years old. In 1843, the family then moved to the village of Newport along the St. Clair River. The village of Newport is present-day Marine City. Now Newport in the day was known for one thing, and that was shipbuilding. So while Langell had begun working at an early age teaching county school and sailing, he was also working in shipyards, learning the skills that in later years would help make him one of the most expert ship designers and builders in the area. In 1824, Langell set his sights on an old sawmill which stood along the Pine River in St. Clair and decided that it would be the ideal spot for his own shipyard. Along with the Grand Turk, Langell built 16 other ships that were built in the Langell shipyard, including Simon's masterpiece, the Hemisphere, built in 1864. The Hemisphere was built on speculation and measured 138 feet long, 26 feet wide, and weighed 315 tons. In June 16, 1900, the last ship to be built in the Langell yard slid down the ways. Her name was the Alfred Mitchell. She had an iron boiler house, iron bunkers, and a steam steer. While well, the Langell shipyard closed down shortly after the christening of the Mitchell, Simon remained a presence in the city of St. Clair. Along with serving on many civic commissions, Langell also served as the mayor of St. Clair four times. Simon Langell continued to live in St. Clair until his passing in 1920, leaving behind him a legacy of generations to come. For Moment in History Extra, hey, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you all that history lives in all of us.